So uh, in December of 2008, um, as a youth environmental group, we wanted to know how well our own building was doing in terms of energy efficiency. Uh, so we had an energy audit and we found out that our building scored a 50 out of 100. And that was definitely a disappointing number, but it also uh, presented us with an opportunity for making some changes in our own building. Right around that time was when we decided that a Youth Green Jobs program would be a really interesting uh, thing for Youth Can to try and develop. Um, so I think because of where we came from, the idea behind the Youth Green Jobs program is that we would share what we had learned with other uh, students in the community um, and that we would also um, help to educate them on environmental activism, um, how to do an audit in their own schools, and how to uh, bring these ideas to their own communities. We had actually worked with an organization in Dorchester called the Dorchester Bay Youth Force. Um, it's an awesome organization that is teens lobbying for more teen and youth employment. Uh, and so we kind of figured it's a natural uh, way for us to go together. It's such a mutual interest and they helped us really engage the kids that ended up being involved in the program. We sat down and we said what do we want this program to look like and we really planned out um, each week um, that the students were going to be there and what we wanted them to learn um, every week that they were in class. We thought it would be best if we had two facilitators who could be there on a daily basis to work um, with the students on the curriculum that we had already planned out. So we put out a call to people who might be interested and we ended up working with two really lovely guys um, named Graham and Luke who are from the Harvard Kennedy School um, who helped us flesh out the curriculum that we had already planned and were really committed to being there on a daily basis um, and helping the students out. Uh, and towards the end of the program, um, they had really bonded with the 10 students who were there. So that was really uh, great to see. Um, and going off of that, it wasn't just the facilitators who made this program possible. We found a lot of experts and leaders in our community who were able to bring that um, background and expertise into the program. Uh, we had some people doing youth leadership, whether it was Dan Gelbtuck from Youth Force or the Alliance for Climate Education, who we worked with many times before, um, or also people from Constellation Energy, who uh, also followed up with the energy audits in the fall, and Sergio Mazzone, a lighting company. We tried to really create it's kind of, you know, spectrum of people that would be able to give the participants in the program a really broad stroke understanding of the different issues that are part of getting an energy audit. So there were four weeks uh, total in the program and each week really focused on a different content area. So the first week, um, since most of the kids don't have backgrounds in environmentalism or sustainability, was really about why does this issue matter. Uh, and the second week, uh, moved into their projects. How do you do an audit? How would that work at your school? What will your presentation uh, to your community look like? And the third week was actually really fun because they were gearing up uh, to present um, a preliminary version of their presentation to a panel of their peers, to a panel of uh, youth can leadership um, and to leaders in the Dorchester Bay Youth Force. Uh, and in the fourth week, they learned how to put all the things that they had learned and all the things that they had done on a website um, so that uh, they could share with other students. So it was really um, a cool week, I think, for them and also for us to see what they had done. We actually got some media attention. Um, Ashton, one of the students uh, who was participating in the program, got interviewed on television. Uh, and also City Councilor John Connolly came uh, to recognize our efforts, um, which was really exciting, I think, for us and for the people in the program. So heading into the fall, uh, we, had, we had our sights set out for what we needed to accomplish. The whole idea of the program was not just that the participants would learn about energy audits, but that would, they would actually go back to their schools and community centers, conduct energy audits, develop an energy action plan and kind of develop a green team to help them implement it. And throughout, uh, you know, basically, I think it's September and October, uh, energy audits were, co were conducted at five schools and community centers. Uh, so on December 14th, we had our final ceremony where the students got to present um, all that they had done in their audits uh, and also what they had learned uh, during the summer. Uh, it was really great because all the people who had taught them in those four weeks, who had worked with them in the audits, um, and even uh, the State uh, Secretary of Energy uh, Environmental Affairs uh, came to see them present. So it was really great to see all the people who had supported them 
um, coming up to that day mm -hmm. to come back um, and really see uh, the sum total of all that they had done. Uh, and also a lot of the people that were there who had taught the past summer said, we really love this experience, we want to do it again. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that was another testament to the fact of, you know, even though this was the first time we had done it, we really did manage to put together something pretty special. Mm -hmm. And we're looking forward to, to making it happen again this summer. Absolutely. This project was made possible by generous funding from the National Grid Foundation.